Hey, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a hand unit with your Sisu system. So this is actually a really cool feature. Uh, it's really useful, especially in a couple of situations. Um, the first is if you've got an operator, you've got a focus puller, you can program in parallel. And me as the operator, I don't have to worry about setting my focus. So what I'll do, all I have to do is worry about framing up, setting my, my camera move, all, all the while my focus puller is keeping focus. And then when I save a keyframe, it's saving that data. It's not recording the focus pull, but it is saving that mark in my keyframes in CC Lab. So really nice, it can save you know, a significant amount of time. The other case in which is really useful is if you've got a moving subject, say a person. You're, the robot's gonna hit its marks every time, but the person is not repeatable. So it's often really handy to have one of these power it on and your focus puller can, can take over and keep sharp focus on your subject. Now, setting it up is really easy. Um, there's a couple of things you need to worry about, um, but once you have it set up, it's just a matter of powering on the hand unit and you're going. So let me first show you the focus motor. This is your C-Pro motor. Now, if you've ever wondered what this red light is, that's blinking because it's looking for a radio signal and can't find one. So what you do, if you wanna turn it off, you just push that bottom button and you go through 13 channels. The next option is off and you can turn that off. But what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna push it. I'm gonna to go to radio channel one and it's ready to go. The next thing I'm gonna do is with our hand unit. So I'm gonna power this on. And there's two things that you gotta set up. One is you gotta, you gotta turn your radio on and then you gotta set your channel. So I'm just gonna push the menu button go to main radio we're just going to turn that on and then we're using channel one so you go down the channel select channel one so it'll pop up and it'll notify you that it connected and i have now taken control over the fizz motors i've only got a focus on here uh, but if you've got an iris or zoom motor as well you would have complete control at this point and like I said, uh, once you've got the setup, it's just a matter of powering on and off. I'll power off here. And now I've got control again uh, with my Sisu wand and tablet. And then if I want to connect again, just power on. And here we go. So super useful, very handy. I recommend having one of these on hand. There's a lot of things too that you can do on this hand unit that you can't do without it. So. That is the basics, that's how you connect and you're ready to go.